Hey, we're going to bring on our uh, our good friend uh, and uh, sponsor, Ray Anderson. Uh, Ray is the uh, head of Anderson Convenience Markets. Good morning, Ray, and welcome back to the show. Good morning. Uh, good to have you on. And I tell you what, uh, a lot of people have been been talking to us. Uh, they say that uh, they drive around town and they're seeing these old, familiar, yet new looking Amico Quality Fuels logos going up on buildings. Yeah, well, I, pre- I appreciate that. I'm glad that's recognized. Yeah. So um, so you guys had been uh, uh, in, in the business for a long time. You go back to 1952. Anderson Convenience Markets has uh, eight uh, retail and uh, convenience locations around the market area. And um, so tell us just a little bit more about uh, your business. Sure, sure, Jeff. Trent, I appreciate it. You know, our current recognized brand, Anderson Convenience Market really has been a family effort over the many years we've been in business since back in 1952. Um, We have been blessed with some terrific family, including my father, Ray, his brothers, Dwight, Bob, and Warren Anderson. And over the years, it's just been a joy to learn from them, both as, as men and really as business operators. They had a terrific ability to connect with guests. The guest was always kind of a pillar of our business, and, and we're blessed to be able to continue that today. We service a lot of people in the Omaha market and are appreciative to be able to do so. So I remember uh, growing up and uh, Uncle Warren station at 90th and Center, and um, I, I, I think I remember the, sta- the standard. It was a similar logo, but it was, it was standard stations, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, you know, Standard Oil really came around at the turn of the century back in the late 1800s when the automotive industry really came to fruition. And the Amoco brand it was a spinoff of the later breakup of Standard Oil. Amoco itself, if you look at the, the letters, is an acronym. It's American Oil Company is what those letters stand for. And how patriotic and appropriate that is to be able to really bring that back into the Omaha market, especially uh, rolling that out around the 4th of July. Um, it was a great timing, and we're, we're real happy to have that back in, in Nebraska. Well, Ray, I drove by your store at 168th and Q yesterday, and the new signage on there looks great. I mean, um, you don't normally think of gas station and convenience store signage as being attractive, but it really is. I mean, it really kind of jumps out when you drive by on the street. I, I like it because of the, the the quality of the gas, and you can go to the, some of those other brands that are, are self branded or whatever. But it, I just I just think of of quality. So I always hit up the, now the Amicos. You know, before was, you know, as long as it's Anderson, I know I'm getting quality gas, Jeff. But um, it it is very cool. And so have you have you changed out all the the eight stations yet, or you still got, got some more to go? There's six that have been rebranded, and there's two more to go, which you will see coming up. And then uh, a few months from now, we'll announce a new location for you, allowing you to be the first to bring that to the market as well, uh, Trenton. So we look forward to that. You know, Standard Oil um, became a very successful and popular brand because of the quality. And and Trenton, what you said, I know you appreciate um, in your vehicles having quality fuel. Sometimes we'll have a guest ask us, a fuel is fuel. Does Does it really matter? And it really does. If you think of the places where you can buy fuel today, you might be buying fuel that's sourced from a variety of suppliers. And what that means ultimately is your vehicle is not getting a consistent product every day, every week, every month. And what Amoco can provide you is that high-quality fuel on a very consistent basis. Your cars, especially yours, Trent, are, are very important investments. And it's important to feed them the proper nutrition, which is fuel, and that results in great performance long-term, lower maintenance costs long-term as well. Yeah, Jeff's cars should probably have okay gas, too, but you've got other, yeah. you got other gas for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ray, um, yeah, he's, he's making the equivalent of moonshine in his backyard for his cars. <laughs> Okay, Ray, I've heard that. <laughs> all of that aside, uh, we are very excited uh, about the new Amico Quality Fuels brand. But other question I have for you is, uh, uh, how come Nebraska didn't win the Mega Millions last night? We were hoping to see Anderson Convenience Market tickets purchased and uh, published in the news today. 
You know, I, it, we were thinking it was going to go that direction, but I, as, as we sat and thought about it, we knew that if Jeff and Trenton won that ticket last night, we'd probably, possibly lose the show in Omaha, and that just can't happen. You guys are way too valuable for us in the community. We love hearing you and listening to you every week. That's our sacrifice um, for, for the, the community, but thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is great to hear the stories we talk about with guests every week. Uh, what, what would be done with it? How would it be applied? Um, I guess at the, at the end of the day, a lot of those funds go back into the state of Nebraska, into our communities, and that's a very positive thing. So when, uh, when people purchase uh, Mega Millions tickets from an Anderson convenience market, do, they, do people talk to the clerks about that and, and, and say, you know, what I'm going to do with it if I win and all that sort of thing? Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of employers that would probably get notices the next day based on the stories we hear, <laughs> and uh, fortunately, fortunately, there's very few winners. And actually, goes back to I have, life. A, I have another take on that. If I would actually, if I wanted, I'd actually get a job at McDonald's or one of those places, just be the world's <laughs> worst employee. <laughs> The world's but it, was, but it, it would be absolutely the best McDonald's in the in the market. That yeah, would be absolutely that would be for sure. free entertainment. But that said, I, I wouldn't. Uh, if this happens, Ray, I wouldn't bring him on at uh, Anderson Convenience Market. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be good for business. He might not measure up to some of the uh, current customer service providers. <laughs> he, he'd be pretty close. Uh, Ray, we we appreciate you joining us, and congratulations on the transition to Amico. Uh, the the stations and the convenience stores look great. And uh, we'll look uh, forward to hearing the announcement of that new location here pretty quick. Great. Thanks. Look for the red, white, and blue. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ray. All right. Ray Anderson, uh, head of Anderson Convenience Market with Quality Amico Fuels. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.